Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic the Garnering. I'm back with part six of my four part series of my eBay purchase that was awesome. And this is my second stretch goal to be able to open this box of Modern Masters, uh, which it says on the back, this box is perfect for thrilling draft play. So I'm gonna draft the whole thing right now. Now the thing that was interesting about this, the seller did say there was some cellophane damage on the box. That's a little more than some. That's like possibly enough to get in there and actually mess with the packs, maybe. So I'm not sure what I'm going to find. There may not be a full, I think there's 24 packs in this. So let's open it up right now and find out what did they do? Did they somehow get in there and replace these with Fallen Empires packs? And I totally got hosed. Let's find out. So... We got a dark confidant a little slip of paper that's cool let's count them up one two three four five six six right seven eight nine ten eleven there's twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four so there are twenty four packs of modern masters in this box they didn't leave me any black lotuses so just kind of strange it's almost like someone just grabbed the box from that spot and it kind of got damaged mm, it's weird i don't really feel like these are going to be messed with but we're going to find out right now oh let's move these over here what are we going to get maybe some good stuff that we'll find out soon i'm hoping to get some manamorphoses the plural of manamorphos morphoses and among other things so uh, again like my innistrad box i just opened i'm going to kind of go relatively slow what the heck is that um yeah just kind of look through the commons a little bit there's really nothing oh, raven's crime is a good one we'll pull that one uh let's see here on t oh lightning helix a good uncommon so i'll just kind of make some little good uncommon hey, grand arbiter augustin the fourth is our first rare and i got a sporoloff ancient for the foil i guess i'll leave a spot for any mythics i might get and i'll put this other stuff over here as you've seen before on this channel i'm no good at pack or uh pile management um so i'm trying to be a little better helps when you can go slow and not at rudy speed fury charm pure through depths tribal flames do my commons there a narcomoeba is a good uncommon and an academy ruins is a good rare that's awesome so that's our i guess our first hit we got a foil thirst for knowledge that's a pretty good uncommon foil on oh, a goblin rogue token um we'll throw that there here we go oops these don't open like ultimate masters packs what am i doing to do the do the, the old way nothing there nothing there mass admirers thunderclaw shaman stir the pride and a life from the loam yeah i say it the regular way tar pitcher good foil there cool all right hoping for some of the big ones here i need a dark confident for my cube actually so hoping to find one did pretty good on my Innistrad box. I don't know if I'll be able to duplicate that kind of level. Spell Snares are okay. We'll pull that one. Flicker Wisp is okay. <sighs> is the doubling season okay? They sure are. Even more so. They've been spiking recently. So that's a big hit right there. Glacial Ray. And the Kithkin Soldier. Okay. Feeling good here. I'm going to pull this up at the end like I always do and uh see how we do on the ev it's of course not well, logic not good it's going to be nowhere near the what it probably could have sold that box for if it had been undamaged about 500 bucks with that solophane damage i you know everyone's going to think it's tampered with if i try to 
um, sell it on eBay. So I, I don't even know if it would be sellable. I'd have to bust it open and try my luck selling just packs. So luckily for me, I made my goal and I get to uh, open them here for fun. Whoa, that's decent. A Vendillion click. I got savage when I pronounced it the other way um, during my other video. So I've learned my lesson. Goblin token, very cool. Foil Marsh Flitter. I'll have to check that one. Not sure if it's going to be good as a foil or not. So let's see here. Got the mythic pile here. Spread out my rares. I don't know what I'm doing. Welcome to Tragic the Garnering. All right. We can probably go a little quicker through the commons. I'm going to try to pull the ones that I know are pretty decent. Trump the Domains. And a City of Brass. Solid rare there and a sins enlistment here we go Get the germinator death denied mad auntie it's pretty mad a murderous red cap i don't know if it's worth even like 90 cents anymore but i'll pull a mold drifter's decent and a lotus bloom is good too cool foil traumatic visions Ought to be okay. We'll check on it later. Packs open pretty easy for being around for many years. Careful consideration. A plume veil, a pathesis, and a chalice of the void. Another good hit. Wow. Master sets. Oh, a foil path to exile. Yeah, master sets, uh, they have some good stuff in them, right? I guess that's why they're kind of a big deal. All right. Imperious or The Street Wraith. That's a pull. Thirst for Knowledge. I'm not sure how much this one is on its own. I guess I'll check it. Flicker Wisp. That one's nothing. Tooth and Nail. Yeah, I think this is a pretty... Oh, and a Foil Tooth and Nail. <laughs> hey, that's interesting. How often does that happen? You get a foil of the card that was right before it. That's got to be rarer than rare. Okay. Foil tooth and nail. Probably pretty decent. My pack opening skills. Not very decent. Grape shot. Spell stutter sprite is a good common, I think. I, am I pulling those? I have no idea. I'm pulling those, and I'm pulling those. Okay, where am I doing? I got uncommons, I got commons, I got a foil there, and I got an aether vial. Wow, my uh, my rare pile is filling out nicely. Let's do it like that. Here we go. I don't know if I would want to pay 500 bucks for this box, so luckily I picked it up as as a group. And after making so much back on the rest of the lot, my cost basis is basically zero here. So just having some fun and pulling out some Miloku, the clouded mirrors, which is, uh, I think it's okay. Another, nothing too crazy there. Come on, let's get some crazy stuff. Let's just go crazy here. We got one mythic, lava spike. That's a good common. Haven't seen any manamorphoses. Oh, hey. You ask, you receive the $20 uncommon card. Summoner's Pact. Okay, it's solid. Got a foil molder vine cloak. And a bat. I like that. I don't know if I've ever seen that token before. All right. Trucking along here. Hanakami. Let me know, I'm sure you will down below if I missed anything great. Sword of Light and Shadow, I'm not going to miss that one. That's cool. Is that, I don't think that's the best sword, but it's a good sword, right? <clears throat> I forget which one is the best sword. Maybe we'll find it. Two Mythics, about halfway through. Can we get a couple more? Looking for that Bob. What about the Bobs, right? 
Dismiss your logic nut, pull that. Is grape, grape shot's not worth pulling, I don't think, right? Nah. Vivid Creeks are okay. Mind Funeral, that's a good uncommon. Electrolyze, it's gone down quite a bit. Pyromancer Swath, probably nothing big, I'm guessing. And I got a foil there. Pile management, I don't even care. Oops. The Relic of Progenitus, that's a pull. Earwig Squad, not so much. Raven's Crime in foil, it's probably a pretty decent one. That's a, that's a rare, that's an uncommon, you get the picture. Oh god, there we go. This pack really messed me up. Here we go, Dampened Thought. The Arcbound stuff. Is there Arcbound Ravager in this set? Should have looked, I guess, before I started opening it. What is in this set? Dakmore Salvage. That's a decent pull there. Countryside Crusher. Eh, I don't think so. Just having the time of my life here. How about you guys? Whoop. Thalid Germinator. Rift Bolt. I think that's a pick. Pepper Smoke, Glacial Ray, Echoing Truth, Eternal Witness. Never turned down one of those. Molten Disaster. Search for Tomorrow. Okay. Move some stuff around here. Down to seven packs here. The Giant Dust Wasp. Tribal Flames, Reach of Branches, Gifts Ungiven. Okay, solid. That's a solid little rare there. And whoop, more packs. I'm clumsy. You've seen that before on this channel, I'm sure. Can't even open a pack. Come on, now I gotta go from the bottom. What about Bob? Where is Bob? Vivid Creek again, Mind Funeral again, Vivid Meadow, Extirpate, okay. Man, a Foil Street Wraith, ah, that's probably trends a little higher. Good, 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 oops, we'll get to that in a second. All right, here we go. Open the pack. All right, Frogmite, Scout, Terramorphic Expanse, Rift Bolt will pull, Street Wraith will pull, Lightning Helix will pull, Blink Moth Nexus will pull that too, and a Thalid, Foil Thalid. Okay, trucking right along. Raven's Crime. Demigod of Revenge. Sure, why not? I don't think it's really anything. Pilferers, another logic knot. I'm going to count them. If they're over, let's say 70 cents. Paradise Mantle ought to be. Bridge from below and a foil death rattle. Okay, uncommon, uncommon token. Two packs left. Two packs left. Need, I need at least one more mythic. Because a two mythic box, that's just, that's just no good, right? Kadama's Reach, that's a pull. Need another mana Morphos. Desperate Ritual. Glimmer Void. That's good. That's a good one. I want a Foil Lotus Bloom. 
Very nice, very nice. Okay. All right, one pack left. Looking for that Bob. Where are you at? Kama's Reach again. Flicker Wisp, Dakmore Salvage, and a Greater Gargadon. Nope, full grape shot though. All right, that was it. We only got two Mythics. That's a bummer. But we got a doubling season, a life from loam. We got some other stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna scan it all up, and we'll see how I did. Let's do the rares. Greater Gargadon. Six. Oh, different edition. Water Master, six bucks. Yeah, better than I thought it would be. Uh, Glimmer Void. Yeah, that one's nice. Always wants to see the wrong edition. There we go. I don't know where to put these. Bridge from below. Nine bucks still. Wow. Demi God of Revenge, Water Masters, Blink Moth Nexus, five bucks there. Should I do something about my piles? Let me put these here. Extirpate, very nice, 13. Gifts Ungiven, six bucks there. Let's change the addition. Three bucks for Modern Masters. Molten Disaster. 30 cents for the future site. Modern Masters, not much more. That one's gonna come back off. I think I got a couple more that need to come back off too. Countryside Crusher. Oh, not much, but it's 86 cents. We're gonna keep it. I don't know where we're gonna keep it. Right here. I know, you guys. I'm all over the place. Earwig Squad. Nope, that one's not going to count. Pyromancer Swath. Nope, probably not. Going to get rid of those ones. Summoner's Pact. 772. Miloku. She is going to maybe just make it. Nope, 60 cents. Doesn't count. There she goes. Aether Vial. Probably going to count. Yeah, 31 bucks for an Aether Vial. Put it right in the middle. Move my foils. I have no idea. Tooth and nail, the regular version. 18 bucks just for that. Chalice of the Void, is that one okay? Oh, it certainly is. 49.99. 39, sorry. Lotus Bloom. Uh, different edition. Six bucks. City of Brass, can never go wrong with one of those. 10 there. Doubling season, super big time, 45. Life from the Loam, 16. Academy Ruins, 24. And the Grand Arbiter, 1697, except that's a different edition. That one's been going up lately. Not too shabby. Got a couple left here. Let's do the Sword of Light and Shadow first. Haunt's oh, pretty good, 29. And a Vendillion click, 21. Different edition, let's switch that up. 19, there you have it. 465 bucks got out of those packs. So almost got the full value of what I probably could have sold that box for. So once again, I'm happy I opened it. 
and uh, had a lot of fun, and you guys get to see it too. Tell me what you think down below. Make sure to subscribe and like, and all that good stuff. And uh, join me next time when I open my third stretch goal. I got a box of Iconic Masters to open. Can that one exceed what I thought I might be able to sell it for? About 150 bucks. Find out next time on Tragic the Garnering.